So welcome to Island Hooking. Uh, I want to do something different today. Uh, I want to give you a little bit um, tips on how to um, jazz up your fishing lures. Um, that's why I have I buy these eyes and I got these um, you know cool looking reflector tapes here. Um, what I want to do is kind of jazz up one of my lures today, um, and I just give you guys different ideas on how you can. Um, uh, make it look better or make it be more creative or if you just want to make it more pretty <laughs> I guess you can see it that way but um, I figure I want to do some creative thinking today and and try out something different and maybe jazz up one of my um, Daiwas because one of my Daiwas is getting kind of um, nicked and all that so I kind of wanted to make it look a little bit more attracting underneath the water because it's a darker lure so so let's go get to it and let's see what we can do to make it look better. So now, um, if you look at this um, lure, I mean, it, it's already all dinged up a little. And um, I kind of wanted to jazz them up a little because of the fact that it's a darker lure and I had a hard time seeing it in the water, so I couldn't really track the lure. Not like the other um, Daiwas, but they're laser, um, they're, they have a laser shine on it, so they really sparkle, but this one doesn't really, so it's real hard to see. And you can see all the nicks and all that on the paint. So another way you can jazz it up is that you could get some of these um, reflectors. You can buy it online or at the stores. And they have all kinds of cool colors. I and mean, they have like these colors over here where it's like um, real freaky looking color. Um, and then you have like um, this blue color. This another color is kind of unique looking other one so you had that purple looking one and you have this bluish color you notice that it kind of changes color a little and then of course you get your regular ones your standard your greens like this and it's like all these sparkles in it which I thought was kind of neat as well but I decided to use red because the eyes red and like you know black and red kind of would match up so what you could do is that you could use it as a template I mean you could put your lore on it and just trace it out if you want to or you know whichever way you want to make it you can design it yourself um, what I wanted what I do is that I just kind of wanted to cover up all the bad spots so uh, I created a template already I cut it out and I shaped it and I could put it right on just like that see now it changes the entire looks of the lore automatically in fact if I peel it off And I like it because um, it'll it'll hide all the imperfections on the lure now, all these little nicks and all that. I don't want to see that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on, just to just to jazz it up a little, just to jazz up the lure. And demonstration wise, you get to see it, how it looks, yeah. And it's starting to come out really nice. Make sure there's no air bubbles. So you'll do it really good. Yeah, it's like that. Smooth it out. Just like this. Smooth it out. Take out the air bubbles. And then you can see that it transforms. It's really nice looking. See that? It, it matches the eyes. And I like the way it looks. It covers up all the imperfections. Just like that. And also, uh, um, remember this is just demonstration wide, but um, you can also, when you cut out the template, make sure you make one more template, right? You trace, you trace it and then you cut the other side. And then this way, you know, you have both sides the same. But look how different it looks. Automatically it changes it. And then what I do is I use the um, the clear um, the clear varnish, that um, clear spray, um, and I spray it over because I don't want the salt water to go underneath because if the salt water gets it, it's gonna peel off the the reflector. So you kind of want to spray that coating on top, that clear coat, um, maybe two three coats on it. So this way, the the salt water won't get to it, and then from there you should be fine. I mean, you can already see the difference between this black and purple and then this. I mean, what a transformation. So 
now you can see why sometimes you know creating your own comes in handy and you don't have to throw it away uh, you can just do it yourself even my kaku lures you know you can sand the kaku lures down paint it all black or whatever color you want pop on a new eye and put on a new reflector tape if you want reflectors on it and you're good to go so you don't have to throw your lures away right and you can swap out the hooks and you're pretty much good to go I mean look how nice it looks I mean it looks really cool really big difference compared to that and that so now you can see why it's hard to see the lure underneath the water because of how dark it is but with this shouldn't have a problem should not have a problem it looks really really nice really attracting and it, you know goes with the eyes so you know it's a little thing that you can do to modify and you know make your lures a little more prettier but more attractive at the same time um, I even had this cockle lure. Let me see. Let me put this on the side. And you notice that um, I, I changed the eye out a little bit. I put that little red eye in there just to give it a little bit more color. And then I also went and put this um, reflector tape here, this gold one, um, just to give it a little shine underneath the water. I um, also did it to this other cockle lure. I put on the red eye, but it was just a, it was just a silver dot. So I put the red eye on. And I basically, boom, put that on just to give it a little more color again. So just different, yeah? And what I want to do is, um, this is one of the Mark White lures. I mean, it's really beautiful. But if you really wanted to kind of make it pop a little bit more, I could get one of these over here, these silver eyes. And I could place it right here. If you look at it. You can put it in the center, but I kind of like to put it a little more forward. It looks like on the real eye and on the fish with a little bit more forward like that. Make it looking forward. And you notice the big difference in the way it looks automatically compared to this. And then all of a sudden, bam. So you can do anything you want with it. And I would probably crazy glue it. I don't trust the glue because you know it will probably get, come off in the salt water. So I would put some crazy glue and stick it on there really good. And then I think you should be um, fine. But just like that makes a big difference. I mean, I got silver. I mean, I could actually run um, red if I wanted to run red. Or I could also run the gold. Gold is pretty cool and nice. Or I can actually jump these small little blue dots on it. They're nice cool blue eyes. Or I could use these. 3D's eyes, which really looks neat and really pops. So you can there's a variety of, uh, of eyes that you can buy online, you know, and you can make, to make your lure look that much more cool. So and it really makes a big difference, you know, from here to here. Yeah, and and there's no wrong or right way. Whatever makes you guys happy, you know, you just choose a color and the way you want to create it. But again, you know, it's just um, different ideas. I figure, you know, I'll give you some ideas that, you know, instead of throwing off your old lures, maybe you can recover it and maybe you can go and now um, fix it up a little. Just like I did with the, um, the Daiwa, right? It's cool looking. And I like this fiery red, it matches that fiery eyes. So. What a big difference. So just a little bit fishing tips on how to um, fix your lures up, how to jazz them up, and why um, I buy these eyes and all these cool reflector tapes because you can really transform the lures uh, any which way you guys want to. So I hope um, this helps and I hope that um, uh, maybe you don't have to throw all your lures away and maybe you can just redo it and like I say you can repaint it you don't have to keep it this way you can sand them down you can repaint it any color you want and then after that you can put a reflector on and pop a new eye if you want to so um, I think modifying is fun and it has its place in time so um, hope this helps and you know keep watching island hooking and I hope to give you guys more tips in the future and don't forget to tell a video too hey